My name is Joel Smith. This is my wife, Melanie. Uh, we met in 1999. I was diagnosed in 2002, and they did a resection on me. And um, they found out I had stage four colon cancer. And then she had another recurrence in her ovaries, and then she had an abdominal hysterectomy. I've had um, a lot of surgeries done, and um, a lot of chemotherapy, different, you know, different ones they tried to put me on, and it would it would last for a little while, like a month or two, and then I would get scans again, and then you know it would come back. In 2000, mm -hmm. in 2009, we switched doctors. Uh, yeah, because yeah. when I went to my office visit, he told me that he didn't have anything more for me, and that um, he would have to put me on the drugs that he previously gave me. You know, there's no more. He said, for, you know, no, no more drugs that I can give you. And now with the, all the doctor, the doctors that I have now, I mean, Dr. Ehrlich has brought me so much hope. You know, because when I, in 2008, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. So when she came to me, she had exhausted all the uh, standard lines of therapy for colorectal cancer. She weighed 75 pounds, and obviously, obviously she was a hosp hospice patient. I was even reluctant to uh, do anything at that time, but she uh, showed me that she was not ready to quit. Uh, mentally, she was not ready for hospice, and she was looking for some hope. Dr. Luck recommended tumor profiling. Well, the testing found a, uh, that she had a rare form of colon cancer that had markers that were associated more with breast cancer, um, and as well as some markers that were associated with kidney cancer as well. And I started this uh, patient on a combination of uh, lapatinib and trastuzumab. Uh, drugs that are used as standard uh, agents for her to pause breast cancer. So there's a, you know, it was a two-drug combination that basically attacks this one protein that uh, that the Keras lab came up with, and said, you know, here's what, you know, here's what, here's what we discovered. That all those years that she's been going through all kinds of different chemo's and radiations and surgeries, that they were looking at the wrong type mm -hmm. of cancer. I was not aware that around 10% of colorectal cancers overexpress HER2. Uh, it's a percentage that is much more than I, I really thought. But now with the new target, you know, the two target uh, drugs, it's really making my life, now I can plan more, you know, like a plan a trip we can go, you know. And, you know, every day we laugh, mm -hmm. we have a good time, we enjoy, we joke around. My job is to make sure that she laughs at least once a day. My uh, quality of life is the best, 100%. I'm doing, I'm doing well.